Germany, uh, Angela Merkel. And here we are at the COP30, which is kind of a full circle moment. And of course, the purpose is to deal with the climate crisis. And this thin blue shell of atmosphere surrounding our planet is so thin, it's only uh, five to seven kilometers thick. It's blue because that's where the oxygen is. And we are using it as an open sewer for 175 million tons of man-made global warming pollution spewed into it uh, every single day. It adds up, it lingers there, and the accumulated amount today will trap as much extra heat as would be released by 750,000 first-generation atomic bombs exploding on the Earth every 24 hours. Literally insane that we're allowing this uh, to continue. Uh, in any case, the temperatures are going up because of that. Uh, last year was the hottest year in recorded history. And the consequences have been spelled out by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. One that needs more attention is drought. This is the prevalence of drought in the 1950s. Uh, and there has been a 299% increase uh, since then. Here's what it looks like today. 61% uh, of all the land mass on Earth last year experienced at least one month of extreme drought. Uh, we have seen it uh, uh, right here in the Amazon region, the worst drought on record. Uh, and in, in uh, the Colombian part of the Amazon River Basin, the flow of the water uh, receded 90%. We've seen it on every continent, including Europe, for example, where some farmers are abandoning their farms because of the continuing uh, droughts. And when the temperatures reach record high levels, this was the all-time temperature record last uh, earlier this year in Turkey, the fires become much more common. In the last 20 years, the extreme fires uh, have doubled in uh, their intensity and their frequency. This is the third year in a row that Canada has had massive record-breaking uh, fires. Uh, we smell the smoke in my uh, farm in Tennessee, in the so south part of the uh, U.S. It goes over, it goes around the world uh, actually now. And from fire to ice, uh, Antarctica is beginning uh, to melt much more rapidly. Just two weeks ago, a new study uh, pointed out that this Victoria Glacier retreated eight kilometers.